Hello, everybody. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Got the mic working today. I hope it's going to sound better. All right, people. Got a cool pod today. This is a, uh, a first one, a first time one. It's the Costanza. Hi, Hugo. Look at this pod. Isn't that gorgeous. Hi, Roger. Hi, Rick City. David Rose, brother. Good to see you. JD87. Dylan's Kingdom. Good to see you. Ah, photo. Nice to see you. Mike Adams. Hello, Carolyn. Good to see you. Hi, Mike. Uh, hi, Ryan. Hi, Aston. Scott Michael. What is the deal? How come Desiree can't get on here? It's the strangest thing in the world. Hopefully, we'll figure this thing out. I'll be with her at the live stream, so we'll be okay then, but. I don't know what the deal is. All right. So I got a cool new pod today. It's a prima, it's a prima tally, which is a cross that I uh, don't know who did it the first time. But this is from uh, Randy Keaton. Look at that pie. That just gorgeous. It looks wet almost. It's just a gorgeous pepper. What in the world is this little white thing here? Give me a second. It's like plastic surgery. Nip and tuck. We'll just remove this little piece here. There you go. They're going to be happier with that. All right, Mr. Primatelli, what do you think, huh? All right, so there's Desiree, you're back. And she's got her wrench. I don't know what happened yesterday. I think that was an internet glitch. Tetro Dracon. Does the spiciness keep you, uh, give you a high after eating it? Maybe. Why? Is it a, no, it does. Yeah, what an amazing color, huh? Just, just incredible looking. So this is a cross, folks, between a Primo, 7 pot Primo, uh, and it's a cross between that and the Fatali. Now, the Fatali is one of the hottest peppers I have ever eaten. Hi, Jeremy. Good to see you, brother. Hi, Jeremy Heltzler. All right. Wind in my face. Good to see you. Uh, hi, Ryan. All right. So, we're going to eat this. Now, you know what? I'm asked all the time about my uh, logo for the channel. You guys know the logo? The pepper says with a chase heat in front of it. Everybody always says, is that a, uh, is that a uh, Reaper? No, it's not. Seven Pot Primo. I'm good friends with Ed. I like Ed. Good friends with both of them. I like, you know, Troy a lot. You know, so it doesn't, you know, it's not a Seven Pot. It's not a Reaper. It's a Seven Pot. So, boy, you should smell this. Will you look at how oily the inside of that is? Jimmy said it was the hottest pot he's eaten, I think he said. Let me read this to you. Jimmy Morrow from Jimmy Pickles. Uh, absolutely one of the hottest pods I've ever had, a seven-pot primo cross with a fatale. Um, three or four different people created the cross, so he's not really sure. Do I sound better today, by the way? I hope I sound better. He's not really sure who would, uh, pin, he can't really pinpoint where it came from. Hi, Scott Ferris. Uh, pepper ripens red. I've noticed there's an orange variety out in the world somewhere. Yields on this, uh, medium yields, large peppers. Each one's unique. Skin is boiling almost as a symbolism for the mass amount of heat within. All right, so we need this. It's got that super wicked hot chin and see aroma. Pretty large uh, placenta on that. Mostly seeds are surrounding it though. Now this is a special one, so I'm protecting the seeds. I don't grow. I don't pull seeds out. And you know, when you get a grower who's got a special pod, 
know what I mean? They want they want to get it reviewed, but you got to trust the reviewer because they can pull a seat out, then a pod that nobody has before you know it. People have the pod. I would never do that, but I'm trusted. But anyway, so from Randy Keaton, thank you so much for the Primo Tali. My name is Johnny Swivel. Chase D. Issues, man. Ah, oh. so it tasted like a seven pot Maybelline. So floral. Yeah. Oh. But a hot, this is a scorcher. It's hoping it would be. All right, let's talk about that. The floral's gone. Uh, yep, it's got <laughs> floral gone already. He knows. Yeah, the floral's gone already. Um, I'm just left with that super strong chintzy flavor. And that floral face. A floral, floral face. Ever tried a red bell pepper? There, Listen, it's getting a little crazy there. It's not good. I'm working my way down to a red bell pepper. Uh, the heat on this. First of all, the burn. This is a hot one. It's still climbing. The burn is in my throat. Hey, this is a hot pepper. This might be the hottest one I've had in a while. <sighs> Big difference in eating pods and the sauce, Anthony. If you had like a, if you had a sauce that was like Reaper based, for instance, fear this, sixty-three percent Reaper. If you add a spoonful or even two spoonfuls of uh, this, and then you ate a Reaper, Carolina Reaper, the Reaper's going to hurt you more. That's my take on it. Wow, this pod's hot. I think it's still climbing. Maybe not. Hi, Shane. Good to see you. Hey guys, smash that like button. I never asked you guys to do that. You know, apparently it matters. Who knew? It matters for getting views and pushing videos, so give it a like. Even if you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. A vote matters. Any vote. But, man, Jimmy Pickles. Primo, uh, Primo Tali. Now, wait a minute. I thought, no, Randy, you know what? Big mess up. I said Randy Keaton got me this. Randy didn't. Or was that you, Jimmy? Who got me this pepper? Hold on. Jimmy Pickles, you got me this pepper. This did not come from Randy. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so it was Jimmy Pickles. I'm sorry. Uh, I was thinking. I have. I've had Randy Keaton on my mind all day. Guys, listen. I'm going to throw a link in the description box below. His mom is really sick, very ill with a bunch of significant medical issues going on. And there's a uh, GoFundMe page to try to help offset some of their bills. So I'm going to put a link in the description box below for that. But my face is on fire right here. Burning right in here on the outside. It's the skin outside. Whew. Hey, that was about the hottest pepper, Jimmy, I think I've had this season. Uh, excuse me. It's hotter than, a re than any reaper I've had this season. Not my favorite flavor. Not my flav fl uh, favorite flavor at all, but heat. Oh, yeah. Man, oh, man. It's peaked. Wow. All right, so for a non chilia that would easily be a 10. That's a problem. For a non chilia this is like a visit to an emergency room, 
least a 911 call. You know, for real. I, a good 20 minutes of just straight panicking, running around into stuff, rearranging stuff in front of you, trying to keep busy, that kind of thing. Uh, if you are if you are a chili head and you're eating hot stuff, this is an 8. This may be a 9. This is a 9. Significantly hotter than the dragon's breath. No, no, it's not a nine for me. It's a nine. No, 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 no. It's not a nine for me. That's a nine for somebody who eats stuff that's hot. It's probably a four for me. That pod's a four for me. But a four for me is really hot. You know what I mean? I mean, man, I wish I had uh, like a, a newbie here. Feed them one of those just to show you the reaction. Man, oh, man. Stuff is hot. What's a nine for me? I've never had a pod that was a nine. Not in years. The hottest I think I've ever had, well, I've had 10s on, on certain challenges. Plutonium 9, Case Hot Sauce, 71 grams of chocolate flakes, uh, three tubes of terror. Those are all pretty much 10s. Hospital trip for a newbie. Scott, yeah, I really think that. I'm serious. If somebody's never eaten anything hot before, they fired that pepper in and they swallowed it before they realized how bad it was and they got it down. It's a problem. I've never thrown up from my stomach being on fire. I have thrown up because I just had too much, too many peppers in my stomach. So, uh, but yeah, I'm just out of a competition, so my tolerance is pretty high. And I eat stuff every day. You know, uh, I care if it was in a. I can't if it was in South Carolina or, or London. It was in London. It was in London. Stephen Dixon said, what would you do to prepare for this? I told him I got up. You know, every day I eat hot stuff, so every day I'm sort of preparing for whatever is in front of me. Hot pepper. Hot pepper. It's, uh, it's on the backside for sure. But man, I'm telling you, for somebody who's not used to it, that is a that pot is a problem. That pot is a you know. I didn't let her win. Dino you know bounce. I wouldn't do that. I had my best. Came down to a speed thing at the end. I'm not very good at speed. What's the hottest pepper I've eaten <coughs> this year? Right here. This is the hottest pot I've had so far this year. Primatale. Wow. Yeah, I'm down to about a one right now. But I'm telling you, even if you're not if you're not a chili head, you still aren't out of the panic mode yet. You're like it did that pulsating thing in my throat. Went, wah, 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 wah. Not eating pepper X as a whole pepper. Yeah, congratulations, uh, Jimmy Pickles. That's the hottest pepper I've eaten all year. That says that says a lot. I've seen some of those videos. They were fun. It was fun being in South Carolina. It was neat. The Gibbler eighty four tuning in from England. It was one mean pod. Thank you. I'm glad you're loving the work. Rambo and Dino, where can uh, your boys Rambo and Dino get them bad boys? Much love from Michigan. Uh, at the end of this video below, or even now, look at uh, Jimmy Pickles. Toss your link up there. Got these pods from Jimmy Pickles. I'm not sure if he has pods you can sell you, but he can sure sell you, uh, sell you seeds. Um, eating a lemon helps. Eh, I never do anything to stop the bird. It would be a bummer, you know? Man. That's a great pepper. How hard? 
Hi, Megan Lockhart. Megan, do me a favor. Desiree, real quick here. Desiree is should be in the loop here. She helps me manage my channel. Call her My Girl Friday. If you can, Megan, get her email her at Desiree Donovan C T H at gmail dot com because we have the live stream coming up and we gotta coordinate a few things and get everybody on the same page. So if you could do that, Megan, love you, you're awesome. Uh did my ears ring? Not on that one. Boy, I almost feel like it's close. Pretty hot, man. That's about as hot as it gets. Is the Primo Tali stable? I don't know uh, if it's stable, uh, Jimmy. Left Eye Pat just ordered the Capstation shirt. Thank you, Left Eye Pat. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but um, you know the Capstation shirt. It's got that. Um, a bunch of people have just found the channel, and they're like, I want that shirt. But I wasn't selling it, so I thought I'd open up the uh, little campaign for that for about five days. So for five more days, you can get one of those shirts, red, black, and uh, no, black, gray, and white. So need a rematch against Bella? Yeah, I do. I'd love to do that. Um, so being that your tolerance is so high, does that change the door for us? Yeah, I still feel a little bit. I'm feeling a little bit of a high from this one that I just ate. Um, thank you, Mike, uh, Scott. Um... Yeah, the higher your tolerance gets, the more it's just, listen, unfortunately, it's just like a drug. You know what I mean? <clears throat> if I was going to do a bunch of smack tomorrow, the next day I'd probably need a little bit more smack to get the same high, and they're always chasing the dragon. But we, we don't chase the dragon here. We, we chase the heat. Um, thank you, Nick Barnes. Love you. Too. Can't wait to see you, Nick. Scott, crazy guides. Can't wait to hang out with you guys. Um, yeah, listen, I'm not really. Here's the truth of it. I'm not a competition guy. I'm Johnny Scoville. I'm just a you. You know, I eat peppers. I travel around the world, eat peppers, and hang with you and report back to my family. That's what I do. If I was all just about contests, only contests, be a bummer. So it's this much of what I do. Can someone, Jeff Coy says, can someone explain why it's not showing any, showing Jeff Coy as my comments here? It is. I'm reading it. I can see them. Um, I like to burn for Reapers too, Steve. It's a good burn. What was ring on that pepper for me? Uh, nah, four. Probably got to a four. I wouldn't say it got any higher than that. Great pepper, though. Hot. I'm not sure what the deal is with Jeff. We had some issues yesterday. Desiree was, uh, who is, you know, pretty significant to the channel and obviously a mod. Wasn't a mod yesterday. It was pretty odd. Anyhow, um, we don't like the tongue burn. I like the everything burn, except the eyes. The eyes burn. I'm not into. Not a good time. Man, that was such a hot pepper. Totally gone now, but man, that was just, it was startling. What's my favorite flavor pepper? Yellow. Yellow pods taste more floral to me. Um, your eyes burn. Not now. When you get peppers in your eyes, your eyes can burn. Um, Teresa Anderson. I'm Teresa, and I have issues with you. Uh -huh. I, I'm sure we'll, we'll both bounce back. You'll be okay, Teresa. Thanks for watching. Lawn dog, what does the term stable and chili mean in the chili industry? Here's what that means. Watch, I'll show you. This is a primo pepper. This is a fatale pepper. We grow that we have that we cross them. You take I don't know how you cross them, but you cross them. You get you know. So the the offspring what you produce from the cross of the primo and the fatale will be neither. It'll be just a hodgepodge of kind of be, it'll just be, it'll be both essentially. And what happens is that's called an F1. You'll see certain number of pods. And what happens is the people, when, you know, if it's not a stable pod, what happens is the first year it throws pods, the pods will be all over the place, different shapes, different sizes. Some will look like the primo, some will look like the uh, primo tali, uh, the uh, fatali, some won't look like either. 
what you do is you pick the one you like. So, if, you know, whoever originally did this, so that's the, the they picked the, the pod shape, the phenotype, they call it. And that's the one they like. So they take that one. They take the seeds from that one, grow them out. The, the pods that come from that will be called an F2. What that person will do is, again, go through and find the pod that clo most closely resembles the phenotype that they're trying to produce permanently on a consistent, steady basis. Grow them another season. That's an F3. Another season, same thing, each time, an F4. And each time you're doing this, it's, the t the, it's becoming more and more stable, meaning that the, the very, like an F8, when it's in an F8 stage, every single one of those pods are going to look just like that original one stable compare that to the f1 where all the pods are all over the place that's what each time each generation gets more and more stable it takes in eight generations to stabilize a pot um uh, hope that answers the question joe a nice live feed thank you joe johnny not sure if you fully realize how much clean and fun entertainment you give us in today's world, it's a nice change from all the crap that's out there. Thanks again, Joe. That's a cool thing to say. Thank you. Honestly. Um, John uh, Geiselman, do you have to go to, do you have a go-to hot sauce you eat every day? Keep up the awesome, entertaining work. Any tricks for calming the burn of a pepper exit interview? Uh -huh. uh, no. You know, here's the deal. The higher your tolerance gets, the less the exit interview is going to bother you. Just kind of the way it works. Um, as far as my go-to sauce, I really don't have a go-to sauce. You know what I do? This is really funny. I'm such a, uh, it's funny. I, you know, I'm easy. I bought like tonight. I had a burger with some rice. It's a stir fried rice or whatever. I put some, the sauce, I don't know if you saw the, the video I did today at lunch. I did a, uh, fermented garlic sauce from Palm and Acre. Put some of that on the rice. I didn't put anything on the burger, but I put that on the rice. It made the rice perfect. So my point of bringing that up is in that moment, that was my go-to sauce. Tomorrow, I'll probably have three different go-to sauces, one for the lunch, a couple for dinner. So my go-to sauce changes depending on what I'm eating. Um, doesn't mean I'm not loyal. I still love them all, you know. Uh, David Rose, you're awesome, man. Much love, John. I appreciate that review. Thank you, man. That was a hot pepper. Can't get over how hot that was. Um, Newfoundland in the house. Jason Spratt, good to see you. Kate Breton here. Hi, Jay Kyle. Michael Buckley, good to see you. Johnny Jr. is 42 days or 41 days away. It's getting close. Scott Ferris, you got to split. Good to see you, man. Catch you next time. This is going to be a relatively short uh, live stream. On account of we're going to go, me and Desiree are going to go 25 hours straight. Excuse me. Kind of a long time. Okay, here. Um, the house is I'm going out. Uh, I believe we're going to be streaming from the house. Some inside, some outside. It'll be pretty neat. Michael Buckley, have you ever uh, had something so hot that you wouldn't want to do it again? Sure. Sure. Oh, yeah. Look, that's the, the mark of a great challenge is one that I'm scared going into it, like really nervous, one that I would never want to do again. No problem. Would call, I meant to call you, talk to you last night, Jeremy. Um, try to text me in a couple of, in a couple hours. I'll see if I'll, I'm just kind of slammed right now, but well, I'll definitely talk prep for you. Here's the truth of it. Let's talk prep right now. Jeremy, Pepper's in Kentucky Living. Got a great channel, doing reviews and challenges. Wants to talk um, uh, prepping. I don't know. I have some guys eat bananas or, uh, you know, mashed potatoes. As long as there's something in my gut, I'm good. I don't really get, you know, some people have a specific thing. If, if you want a specific thing that works for you, you'll have to figure it out through time. But as long as there's something in my gut, I'm fine, honestly. But we'll talk more. Uh, Michael Buckley, have you ever met Chili Klaus? Yes, I have. Chili Klaus is a friend of mine. Met him the first time in New York a couple of years ago. Walked up to me and goes, I know you. I was like, I almost fell over. I'm like, you know me. It's pretty cool. 
Um, yeah, man, there's global family all around the world. Hey, this is Lloyd. Can you give my son a shout out, please? He would love it. Uh, Lloyd, what is your son's name? I would love to give Lloyd a shout out. I think everybody here would like to say hi to Lloyd. That'd be pretty cool. I'll tell you about the hospital in just one moment. I just want to give a shout out to Lloyd, to Lloyd's son. Um, I'll be looking for it. I'll definitely give him that shout out, Lloyd. Just got to tell me what his name is. But uh, Chili Queen went to the hospital. She did indeed. She did indeed because she overdosed on uh, sodium uh, soda bicarbonate. You know, baking soda. She read online, and I conferred it with her, so I feel kind of bad. She read online that um, you can get rid of uh, his, his name is Lloyd Thurber the Fifth. Lloyd Thurber the Fifth. Cheers, mate. Everybody, say hi to Lloyd, man. It's so cool. Glad you're here, Lloyd. And hi, Lloyd's dad. Lloyd, also Lloyd. Anyhow, after the video, after the contest, um, she um, here's the deal. Let's talk adults here. You have a contest like that, you eat 27 or 30 super hot peppers. If you keep those in your stomach and try to pass those, that's, I don't care who you are, that's really a problem. You're, I mean, that's like devastating capsaicin cramps for hours and hours and hours upon end. So what typically happens, whether it's something fun to talk about or not, <coughs> people will chuck <coughs> and vomit, purge, as it were. Which is not fun at all because your throat's raw from all the peppers going down. So when you, they come back up, it's just like eating them all over again. So it's like eating twice the amount of peppers. At any rate, she wasn't able to eject them. And therein oh. lies the problem. So she was kind of, she was a little concerned. Um, I didn't know what to do. Start Googling it. Read about the baking soda. I agreed that I had done that a lot. I've done that. Two tablespoons of baking soda and six ounces of warm water. You drink, I used to tell people that you drink it before the cup hit the table, you were feeling better. But she did like five doses in four hours and it tossed her electrolytes all out of whack. She went to the hospital the next, we were on the way to, we had to drop her off at the hospital before we went to Stonehenge. It was very scary. She had potassium going in one arm. She had, uh, uh, yeah, Jeremy, potassium going in one arm, magnesium going in the other. It was a very frightening little bit of time there. So that was the deal. Don't, don't, you know what happens when you have cap cramps? You ride it out. It comes with the territory. Uh, I agree with you, Lawn Dog. I personally have done the uh, baking soda thing, and I know lots of people who have. I think anybody, if you do that much in that short a period of time, would have a problem. I never have done that, but you got to be careful what you read. That's for sure. Um, out with the Keaton, sent a box yesterday. I'm not sure if the box is mine. Uh, yeah, it wasn't yours. I'm sorry. I got confused. I'm sorry, dude. I was, I, you know, I messaged you today. Uh, you've been on my mind a lot. Um, do me a favor. I talked about your mom and your, your I was gonna, I'm going to put a link for the, your mom, the fundraiser you're doing for your mom. Why don't you, Post that right here so everybody can see that, if you can. UK Chili Queen, shut up. We got chili royalty in the house. Are you joking? The UK Chili Queen. I bow to you. How cool. Hello, Queen. Shahina, thank you for joining us. That's very cool. Everybody, please give a really, really very, very warm, loving welcome to the one who beat me, the Queen. She's my friend and she's wonderful. So make her feel welcome at home. She is family. Hey, how's my pussy cat? How's my little cat? In uh, she has a bunch of kittens, and one of them in particular has the cutest nose. Man, hey, I did. I bowed. Listen, I'm a gentleman. She definitely is the queen. But that one little cat, I'm telling you, boy, look at all this chilly love for the queen, huh? You gotta love that. That was awesome. That was a fun contest. I'm looking forward for the rematch, sweetheart. Uh, that battle was epic. Yes, it was. 
Um, look at this. Everybody's killing her with kindness. Tell you about the Chili Queen. I tell everyone about the Chili Queen. Yep. I was just talking about the scary situation with uh, baking soda. Tell everybody to stay away from that. If you get calf cramps, you ride it out. Thank you, Carolyn. You take care, girl. Hope you feel good. My son will be joining us uh, 41 days from now. Looking very much forward to it. Tanya says hello. Joshua King's wife. Hi, Tanya. Good to see you. Well, I've been growing that beard. Man, a long time. I've got like three or four of these little... Uh, what happens when I need to trim it? I'll keep it just like this. I'll just do this. I'll just cut it right there, and I'll save this part. So I've got like three or four of these in my room. Pretty funny. All right, guys. Listen, here's the deal. We're going to stop this uh, right now. It's been going a long time. appreciate you guys. I love you. Uh, please join me Friday for 25 hours, man. We're going to have a ball. Promise. It'll be a lot of fun things going on. Um, right here, Jimmy Pickles. Uh, uh, you'll see Excuse me. Here you see our pepper. Click it and become part of the family. But go down below and click the link for Jimmy Peppers. Pickles. Jimmy Pickles Peppers. Anyway, you guys are awesome. I love you guys a lot. I am Johnny Scoble. This is Chase Steve.